Okay, so uh, acid catalyzed hydrolysis of an ester. Um, so this uh, example is using methyl propanoate. So remember the methyl has come from the alcohol and the propanoate came from the carboxylic acid or the carboxylic acid derivative. Um, so meth, we've got one and prop, we've got three. So if we start with our meth, so the methyl, so that came from the alcohol, so the oxygen's there, and then propanoate then, our C double bond O, so that will be carbon number one. We need two more, so we can draw them in like that. Okay, so there's our ester. So hydrolysis then is the breaking of a bond due to the action of water or the hydroxide ion. And the bond that we're going to break is this one here. It's the same bond that was made during esterification, the ester bond. So we're going to add the water. Now, where does that come from? Well, if we're doing acid catalyst, it's important that you put your AQ symbol because that provides the water. So we're going to break that bond due to the action of the water. So I'll just draw a line through just to show. And then let's redraw uh, for our products then. So that's that bit there. And then we start afresh over here with our second bit. Okay, so really what we're doing is we're putting the water back. Think back to the esterification, it was a condensation reaction. So for example, our alcohol reacted with the carboxylic acid to make the ester and the water. Essentially, it's the reverse of that esterification. So we're going to put the water back, we'll put the H on here, and we'll put the OH on there. Okay, so we've got the alcohol and the carboxylic acid um, as our products.